And now the Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Here's Bryant for the extra point. Bryant tacks on the extra point, and we are tied at 14. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan is showing you. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. At this stage of the game, the run-pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. And they pick up another first down with that run. Here we go, here we go. Bortles now on first down. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Terrell McClain. Forcing his way through there to drop him for a loss of a good 10 yards. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. On second down, here's Boris. Incomplete over the middle, Safarian Jenkins. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. The offense going to stay out there. They've converted on, once, on. failed once. What can they do here on fourth down? Lucy, Lucy. Set. Green 80. Lucy, Lucy. Green set. They do go for it. It's Bortles. And it is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Falcons will take control of the football in great field position. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They'll try to get the ground game going with Freeman. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. We got three. Three down. Three down. We got three. Let's go. Three. 21. 20. 20. Let's go. Looking to throw on second down. Ryan. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. 
And partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Now Ryan. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Calais Campbell in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to break our fourth quarter time. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. So the folks on hand here growing a little restless with their kicking game. That's now two misses so far. And in a tight game, fourth quarter, the fans are the only ones getting restless, Brandon. There were a few looks of disbelief on that sideline as well. Very good starting field position for the Jaguars' offense as they come up first and ten. They begin with a run by Fournette. And he'll get this across midfield to the 48. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he takes it down deep into Atlanta territory. A big run by the big man Fournette, 43 yards. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Second and goal from the one. Hey, 54 Ricky. To him up the middle, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Here's Fournette. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. This defense bending, but not breaking. It's a gain of three. It's now fourth and goal. And no movement for the field goal unit to break this tie. They're going to go for this thing. Fourth and goal. Here we go. They come out here in the eye. They'll go with a big back for him. And he didn't get there. Knocked backwards to the two-yard line. Leonard Fournette denied on fourth and goal. And the Falcons able to muster together a goal line stand. Switch, switch. 
The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. Devontae Freeman, they're not going to get him. Touchdown, Falcons. Devontae Freeman, 98 yards. And the Falcons have broken our tie. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big-time jaunt all the way to the end zone. Brian's extra point.